Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe at the end. Today I'm going to cover the Mod GRS deck, which replaces the 2-inch trackball. Didn't really care for the trackball because I don't really play those games. It's my arcade, so I can do what I want to. But uh, eventually I will sell this, and when I do sell it, I'll show you a couple of the things that I do, not only for the mod, but that I do when I sell it so that it makes it easier on the person purchasing the machine. Arcade games have mechanical devices. They do require some care and feeding after the purchase. So one of the things I do is I keep my cabling very tight and clean. And as you can tell, I spare no expense on the accuracy of my cabling. One of the things I started doing back in 2000, though, 12 was building my own cabinets so I definitely know what I'm doing at this point and so I'll just show you what I had to do the GRS Tron stick did not fit in the 2 inch hole so I had to get a router and actually trim this back I think I raised it about maybe an inch an inch and a quarter just to get this in and then I had to fabricate some boards that went underneath this to actually uh, provide a backing for let's see if I can show it bolts that go into the device to hold it in place. Now then I created this diaphragm and the diaphragm is a three and a half inch hole saw cut of ABS plastic. I mean overall this thing came out fantastic. Not only that, I took the original Tron stick right there and I replaced it with a Zaxxon logo, the Tron stick logo. So I just peeled it off, I printed this and laminated it, if you're wondering how I made this. And it was quite simple. I just did it on my own PC. Nothing to it. Anyway, Zaxxon is the reason that I play this. I do keep track of it on my high score board, as many of you have seen before. I like to have my own high scores running in the arcade when I'm here. And, you know, it's just, that's the way I roll. So, with the 60 in one board, I want to point something out. There is an option. And this is the 61 in one iCade. There's an option to save high scores. That's not exactly what it does. It saves the highest score of every game, meaning that if you go back into the game after you set the high score, you will see the high scores themselves. Let's see if we can get Zaxxon to play along. Come on. Zaxxon's not doing it. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and play a game with my new stick. And then I have adjustable volume, and I'll show you that here in a couple of seconds. But when I go in, you can see that the top score on the top is kept, okay? Now I just powered this on. And in the meantime, you know, I'm unscripted uncut, so I just fly with one hand and show you that. But it kept the high score, and that's actually up on my leaderboard. I've got my Miss Pac-Man, my Donkey Kong high scores, and this is kind of nice, so it's a permanent display. And then I've got Zaxxon, and I think it's at, uh, what is that, 36,400? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, you know, one of the things that I like about this is the adjustable control volume. I mean, it's pretty nice, because at night I can play it and not bug the rest of the house. And the way this one works is off a very small board. You can buy these on eBay. So check this out. I mean, there's nothing to this, but it does have two speakers in the top, which I like having speakers in the front so that it hits you in the chest or the legs. Ideally, it's the legs is what I like because that way you're not getting pounded in your head and you can have a headset on. Just my personal preference and choice. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this. I mean, I think the kick plate came out great. The coin door came out good. I think the side art came out pretty nice. Marquee was wonderfully cut got that done. That wasn't hard to do at all. This is one of the more simple packages because it uses the primary colors that printers used in the 80s. So over here I've got uh, my donkey column and then one of the things I like to do is I might want to turn around and just play a couple of card games like maybe Deuces Wild. I'll go in, play, and as you can tell it's just like draw poker in the casinos. This is the Game King, also known as the multi-game. You'll see this in truck stops all the way to California. And so I just wanted you guys to see kind of what goes on in my arcade. I just finished this up. All the wiring's done. The, the mod of the joystick. The mod of the joystick was quite fun. If 
By the way, I got my hole saw that was big enough for eleven dollars over at Harbor Freight, so that's kind of cool. And then I have my virtual pinball machine with the officially licensed Adams Family artwork. And as you can tell, I really like the Adams Family pinball, and you should too. Signing off, this is Ted from Phoenix, Arizona. And if you liked this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.